There is, I think, no better car in the BMW lineup that represents the brand than the 5 Series. With over 10 million units sold since it first burst onto the scene in 1972, it's been a staple of the brand ever since. But what about this new generation? Well, for the first time, BMW are offering the 5 Series as an all-electric car. So welcome, then, to the brand new BMW i5. So let's start our look at the i5 with what different versions you can get. There are two from launch. We've got this, which is the 40, and you can also get the M60. Both use around an 80 kilowatt hour battery, and both can do over 300 miles claimed on the WLTP cycle. This, the 40, can actually do a claimed 360 miles. But what about the design? Of course, being a new 5 Series, it's completely different to the one that came before, but it's still very recognisable as a BMW. The 5 Series is always quite an interesting one to see in terms of design and technology, because you'll probably see this design language carried through to different BMW models going forwards. Of course, we've got the kidney grills on the front, but they are not the enormous ones that we've seen on the i7 and the X7. They are much more subtle. They're sort of horizontal rather than vertical. And of course, because this is electric, they are filled in. Another really cool feature on the i5 is that the kidney grills actually light up around here. They've got a really nice glow on the grills, which actually gives it a really imposing stance on the road. Now, the Corona rings that we're used to have kind of gone now. They're just sort of a one singular daytime running light. The lights are quite thin and wrap around the side of the car. The front bumper is actually really quite aggressive, considering this is just the 40 as well. It is very sporty, very muscular, and I really, really love the way this thing looks from the front. As we move along the side, it's much more traditional saloon shape. You've got still the swage line, which is a typical BMW feature, which runs the whole way along the side of the car through the doors. We've got slightly different door handles now. I know it's something quite trivial, but it's very different. They now sit flush to the side of the car. They're actually really nice to use. This car is sitting on the 20 inch alloy wheels with the red brake calipers behind. I think they look brilliant. As we move around the back, you've still got the Hoffmeister kink here. However, it's now got model designation on there as well in the number five. Now, before we get to the rear, let's talk charging. You can charge it both on an AC and a DC charge. On an AC charge, on an 11 kilowatt charger, it'll go from nothing to full in around nine hours, or in other words, overnight. But on a DC rapid charge at up to 205 kilowatts, it'll go from 10% to 80% in around half an hour, which is pretty impressive it's what we've become used to and the car's actually got a really nice feature in here to keep you occupied while it's charging we'll get onto that in a little bit the rear is significantly different to the previous generation 5 series but still recognizable the rear lights now have a new design they're much sleeker much more slimline and the rear bumper is a little bit more pronounced and of course there are no exhausts on here because electric it's got a really nice diffuser which runs round the back of the car and then boot space this being electric you do lose a little bit of space compared to the internal combustion engine 5 series but there still is acres and acres of room in here to get lots and lots of things but i think a real real highlight of this car is the interior so let's go and take a look at that let's start in the rear of the car because of course this is a family car, so it needs to have plenty of space, which it does. This seat is in its most furthest back position, and there is still plenty of space for my knees. These seats are fantastic to sit in, really, really comfortable, and the overall quality in the back here feels brilliant. You've got a lot of charging ports in this as well for USB-C, so there's two down here, and then one on the back of each seat. You've also got a little armrest in the middle here which is really quite nice to sit on it's just a lovely place to be back here and I feel like you could sit here and cover many many miles in here but really where I want to be is in the driver's seat it is here where I think the i5 really excels there's no other word for it the interior is spectacular in here let's start with the overall quality the fit and finish 
it feels of the highest order. You've got really lovely soft materials everywhere. It's beautifully tactile. The fit and feel of everything you touch and scratch and hold is just, is just brilliant. It really is. Now let's talk about the design. So let's talk about the thing that really takes your eye to begin with. That is the central display. So we've got the latest operating system in here, which actually is quite easy to, to fathom and get used to. It looks a little bit daunting when you first jump in and take a look, but it is so easy to get used to. But let's be honest, the vast majority of people are just gonna use wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is exactly what I've done. Now, I also need to mention the cool little feature that this car has to do while you're charging. So if I go into the menu here, and go to Air Console Games. You can basically play games on the system whilst charging the car. Now, all you do is connect it to your phone and use your phone as a remote. What a great little solution to what to do while you're charging. Directly in front of me, we've got a really crisp, clear driver's display which shows everything you're ever gonna need. So your status of your battery, your charge, your regen brakes, you can have your sat nav on there as well. You've also got a really lovely, clear heads up display directly in front of you. The way everything is laid out is spot on. I love this new design dashboard here with the sort of double step. It's very similar, if you will, to the interior of the i7, which I think is one of the best interiors currently on any car on sale. I love the ambient lighting that runs all the way around the car. Down in the center here, this sort of center console almost floats in the center. This has got crafted clarity dials as well. So it's this sort of glass crystal effect down here. It's just a spectacular place to sit. Down in the middle, you've got cup holders down here and you've got a charging pad. This is a, a Pro Max and it fits with ease. Everything in here is just brilliant you get everything you'd ever need as standard as well the seats are so soft and comfortable you just feel like you could do hundreds and hundreds of miles in this car without even breaking a sweat it feels exceptionally well put together brilliantly laid out and just the very very highest of qualities it's beautiful in here but that brings us on to the next bit how does the i5 feel when you get out on the road and take it for a drive. It is absolutely lovely to drive the i5. Now underneath its underpinnings are pretty much shared exactly with the i7, which is possibly one of the most comfortable cars I've ever driven other than Rolls-Royce. So what is, what's it like to really drive the i5? Well, let's cover off the power and the acceleration on this car to start with. This is the 40. You can get the M60, which has even more power, more performance, and actually, rather importantly, more weight. But anyway, let's start with this one. We have 335 horsepower all going to the rear wheels in this car, which means 0-62 miles an hour is dealt with in six seconds dead, which actually feels more than fast enough. As soon as you get on the throttle, it just takes off. But the thing is, for me, we're constantly caught up on how quick electric cars are in a straight line. I feel like this car isn't about that and it shouldn't be about that. This is such an incredibly comfortable, easy, long distance cruiser. It is unbelievably comfortable, this car. It's so similar, I think, to the i7, which I've already mentioned, is one of the most comfortable cars I've ever driven. The beauty with an all electric powertrain as well, which I don't think gets spoken about enough, is just how gloriously smooth it makes driving. The way the power is delivered when you're not absolutely flooring the throttle all the time is just lovely. It's such a linear experience because of course, there's no revs building, there's no gearbox changing. It's just a super, super smooth, lovely thing to drive. 
you can drive it so smoothly the throttle pedal in this car is absolutely spot on you can modulate it so so well the same with the brake pedal as well the brake pedal has such a great feel to it that it just makes it so easy to drive this car smoothly which is exactly what you want this is an i5 this in essence is this is the new 5 series 5 series owners weren't those that were going to be tearing around country lanes at a million miles an hour even though when you actually get up on this car its driving dynamics are really impressive the steering feel is lovely you can obviously change how it feels with the driving modes down in the center now you've got several different modes we've got personal sport efficient we've also got expressive relax digital art there's so many driving modes in this car that it's just it's baffling for me i just leave it in personal which is what comfort used to be and then there's a few different modes for the regen brakes we need to talk about those as well because they are brilliant in this car if you go down to this lovely crystal gear selector down here and drop it down into b that's the highest of the regen brakes and what it means is it will come to a complete stop under just the regen brakes without using the friction brakes and the amount of power that it pumps back into the batteries off that mode is excellent i've gained 3.1 miles in battery power alone just from using the regen brakes it's brilliant it really is brilliant the visibility around is spot on as well big wing mirror so you get a good view all around but for me the thing that impresses most about this car i'll say it again is how refined how comfortable and how relaxing it is to drive five series has always been a very comfortable car to drive and this just takes it on to a new level this i5 is spectacular to drive being able to do a long distance journey and you can because the range is so good it's a joy it really is a joy to sit here and drive long long distances i've done about 80 miles in it so far and it's just been perfect across motorways across b roads across a roads across all different surfaces now i will mention this particular car hasn't got the adaptive suspension and it hasn't got the rear wheel steer that you get on the m60 but i don't think i don't feel like i've missed them this is still so so comfortable that i don't feel like it's I've, I've been at a big loss for not having them it's just it's just perfect i think and i've already touched on the cabin but it's such a gorgeous place to sit in here it really is it's absolutely stunning to sit in here it's it's beautiful everything you touch is such a beautiful tactile feel to it it's laid out really really well the, the operating the newest operating system does take some getting used to and the touchscreen can be a little bit distracting while you're driving but fear not you've still got your iDrive control so you don't need to be touching the screen while you're driving you just don't need to bmw have thought about that the heads-up display is fantastic as well and it's just a brilliant brilliant all-round car it can do everything it can do your faster driving if you really want to it still feels engaging it still feels rewarding to drive when the roads get twisting you can start to enjoy it but it really shines as a comfortable everyday companion for long distance driving not even that just driving in general it is a supreme product and for any more information please use the link in the description of this video to contact your nearest Ryrick BMW retailer. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Plenty more content to come. And I'll see you guys again really soon.